So today's video slash story is definitely one of my favorites probably ever to tell. It just reminds me of like those old times on this YouTube channel. It reminds me of some of the first few stories I ever told on this channel. And I think a lot of you are going to enjoy this one. So I hope you enjoy it. This is definitely one of those like really crazy stories in my opinion. I have like this notepad where I categorize stuff that I haven't told yet. And this is from the really crazy section and it's right at the top. So I really hope you enjoy it. So today's the story of how I uh, got locked in my school overnight. And uh, yeah, let me elaborate. So today's story time all takes place as a normal day back in uh, 2014. Now this was literally like a month after I started my YouTube channel. Um, it was May 2014 and it was also a month before school was about to let out for summer vacation. Now pretty much every year without fail, I would start to kind of lose motivation to be a good student towards the end of the school year because I just knew how close we were to summer vacation and I would get like really, really excited and hyped up for that. And it would make me kind of slip up when it came to doing my schoolwork and like, you know, being a good student because I was excited that summer was around the corner and that we'd be out of school for a while. So yeah, like any other year, once it hit May and uh, we were only like a month away from summer, I definitely started being kind of a shithead more than usual. So I had a pretty tight group of friends at this point in school, and uh, I'll just give them names. We had Justin, Kevin, and Alex, okay? Now specifically, Kevin, he was like the king out of all my friends of doing shit that he shouldn't have been doing. And uh, one day, I'm in school. It was a Friday afternoon. It was 12.30 p.m. I remember because lunch just let out, and we were on our way to our next class, and we only had two classes left before the day was over. And coincidentally, Kevin's classroom was right next to mine for this period. So me and Kevin were walking in that direction together after lunch. And while we're walking to class, Kevin comes up with the most genius idea ever. And when I say genius, I mean so dumb. So literally, just as we're about to be in the hallway where both of our classrooms were, Kevin looks over at me and he's like, yo, I have this idea, right? And I think I'm going to do it tonight with a couple friends. I want you in on it. And I was like, what's the idea? He's like, you know that like overnight challenge that's been going around on YouTube? And I was like, yeah. Now, just for some context, at the time, for some reason on YouTube, a lot of like overnight videos were popping up in our feeds. Me and all my friends were watching these videos where people would sneak into like, you know, like Walmart or like some like trampoline park or something or a water park. And they'd spend the night there and like record it. And it looked really fun, right? And like crazy and risky. And Kevin's like, yes, yeah, so you know, those overnight challenges. And I was like, yeah. He's like, bro, so I'm thinking tonight we try and spend the night in the school. Now, listen, most of the videos I watched back then, like I said, water parks, theme parks, uh, trampoline parks, Walmart, I don't know, like things that like are kind of fun to do. Being overnight in a school doesn't sound very fun to me. I hated school. I counted the minutes until I was out of there every day. So the thought of staying there overnight at first was like kind of stupid to me. But then I thought about it for a little bit longer. And I was like, yo, being there overnight with all of my best friends that would be one of the coolest stories to tell ever. And at this point, I had just started my YouTube channel. So like I was in YouTube mode. I wanted all the crazy stories, right? I never turned down an opportunity to have a crazy story to tell. So yeah, without much thought, I looked at Kevin and I was like, I'm down. He goes, you're in? I was like, I'm down. He's like, fuck yeah, dude. All right, I'm going to hit you up after class. I'm like, all right, sounds good. So we go to class. Class was fine. Everything was normal there. We get out of class. We meet up in the hallway because our classrooms are right next to each other. And uh, he starts running down the plan. He's like, all right, so here's what we're going to do. After class, me, you, Alex, Justin, we're going to meet up outside where the buses are. We're going to go across the street, get some food at the burger spot across the street. Then after that, we'll come back, go into the school. And I was like, wait, how are we going to get back in? Like, won't the doors be locked? He's like, no, dude, I was on the football team last year. Like, the doors are unlocked till like 4 or 5 p.m. So we'll just walk in after getting food. We'll pretend like we're just there for football practice. We'll go down towards the gym, and we'll just hang out in one of the empty classrooms down there until everyone leaves the building. And I was like, okay. So the plan was in motion. After the next period of class, the day ended. I met up with all my friends at the front door. We left the school, went across the street, got burgers, ate there for like 45 minutes, came back to school. At this point, most of the students were already gone because everyone went home. The only students still there were just like football practice. And I think there was a soccer practice or something. But yeah, we walked back into the school. The doors were still unlocked. We went in. There was a couple teachers roaming around, but nobody said anything to us because they thought that we were just, you know, students that had sports after school. And once we got into the school, we went downstairs. We tried to find an empty classroom that like nobody really uses because we had a few of those at our school. But unfortunately, all the ones we knew about were locked. 
So we had to come up with a different plan. So instead of hiding out in like an empty classroom, we went to the boys locker room and just like hung out in there for like 30 minutes. And then after that football practice at our school was over. So like a bunch of people came flooding in from our school and we knew some of them. Like I was friends with a couple of people from the football team. So like they saw us in there and they were like, what are you guys, what are you guys doing in here? Like, isn't, isn't school over? And we're like, yeah, we're just hanging out. And they were like, why in the locker room? And I had to explain to them like, yeah, we're going to spend the night in the school. We're going to hang out in here until everyone goes home. And literally both of my friends on the football team that I was talking to, they were both at the same time like, what? And my one friend was like, why? And I was like, I don't know. It'd be a funny story. He's like, shit, you guys are crazy. All right, good luck. So like 10, 15 minutes later, everybody left the locker room because everyone had changed and it was time to go home. And uh, we were still in the locker room and I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? We should probably move, guys. And all my friends were like, why? And I was like, because I think they lock the uh, locker room doors after practice is over because I got locked in here once and I don't want to have that happen again. And Kevin's like, all right, well, where do we go? And I was like, I don't know. I say we go out in the hallway. The hallway that we're in is a pretty dead hallway, so we probably won't see anybody. And I say we just look for a room to hide in. And they're like, okay, let's do it. So we got up. We snuck out of there. We were in the hallway. It was like a ghost town out there. Like there was nobody. And right across the hall from the locker room was the cafeteria. And I was like, hey, let's check that. So we walk up to the cafeteria. I slowly turn the door handle. It opens. The door was unlocked. And I was like, hell yeah. So we all go in the cafeteria. We sit down at a table. The cafeteria was pitch black, by the way. There was no lights on. So that was really creepy. We were like using our phone lights to even have any kind of light in there. And we just sat in there in the dark for like, I don't even know how long, but I remember checking my phone after being in there for quite a while and it was 630 and I'm like, yo, we've been here for a while, dude. And all my friends were like, holy shit, 630 already. And then it hit me. I hadn't called my mom yet and told her that I was going to be out all night. So like, I'm freaking out now. So I had to call my mom in the cafeteria and I was like, Hey mom, uh, I'm staying over at Justin's tonight. And she's like, all right, I was starting to get worried. I didn't know where you were. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I forgot to text you. I'm at Justin's house. I'll be back tomorrow at, like, noon. And she's like, okay, sounds good. So that was good now. I was in the clear when it came to that. But, yeah, it was 6.30, and we were in this dark cafeteria. And I can't lie. Your boy was getting a little bit antsy. I wanted to move. I wanted to get out of there. It was dark. It was, like, just boring. So I was like, yo, I think we're good. I feel like we can go out now and explore. And Justin's like, I don't know, dude. Like, there's probably janitors here or something. Like, we should probably wait another, like, 30 or 40 minutes. And I was like, dude... Honestly, at this point, I'd rather risk it and go like check out what's going on around the school and like maybe go to the gym or something and maybe get caught rather than sitting in here all night and not get caught and just do nothing in the dark. And all of my friends pretty much agreed with me. They were like, all right, yeah, we'll do that. So we snuck out of the cafeteria, went to the main hallway, started heading towards the gym and seeing my school like after hours like this was really kind of creepy. So all the hallway lights were completely dimmed like almost pitch black. Uh, there was nobody in the hallways, no janitors, no teachers. And pretty much that feeling I had was correct. Like nobody was in there. We were good to like explore. So yeah, the first stop was the gym. We went to the gym. It was unlocked. We went in there. We grabbed one of the basketballs and we started playing a 2v2 basketball game. I don't really play basketball or even know the rules that well, but there was just something about playing this basketball game against my friends in this gym with the lights dimmed with like nobody else at my school, it was just the craziest feeling. Like half of me was like completely nervous and shitting myself that we were going to get caught. And the other half of me was like, this is so much fun. So we played for like 30 minutes. And at this point, it's like 7 p.m., maybe 730. And we decide, OK, the sun's going down. Let's go explore the rest of the school while we still have some daylight. So we go out in the hallway. Like I said, very dark hallways because there was no windows in the hallways. And we just start going through the classrooms. Now, some of the classrooms were locked. Some of them were unlocked. It kind of just depended on if the teachers locked them at the end of the day or not. So we were going through some of the classrooms that we'd never been in before for like some of the older and younger grades. And like we were just going in there and like looking around and then leaving. We weren't doing anything bad. We were just like bored and curious. So we we're just exploring. So after we explored for like, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes, we got pretty bored of that. And we went back to the gym and we went in one of the closets that was unlocked and we found like a stack of like 50 of these like scooter boards. If you don't know what those are, look them up. They're called scooter boards. They're just these like plastic squares that have wheels on the bottom. And they're just scooters you sit on essentially and pump with your feet. And me and my friends took these out 
And then we put on football, uh, like pads and a helmet. And then we grabbed hockey sticks and we started jousting. Like we started going at each other and like knocking each other off these scooters and like using the back of the stick to like hit each other off the scooters. And I think it goes without saying, don't do that. That is so not safe. We probably could have like hurt each other very bad. But luckily, we didn't get hurt too bad. I mean, I fell a couple times. My friends fell a couple times, but we were okay. The football gear definitely helped and the helmets. But anyway, after that, we did that for like 10, 15 minutes. We put the stuff back. We went back into the gym. We sat on the bleachers for a little bit and just like talked. And like every minute that would pass, we were just in disbelief that we were in our school after hours. And now it was nighttime. And now is when the story time gets very interesting, okay? So we end up spending like another hour and a half, two hours in the gym, right? We're just sitting in the bleachers, kicking it there, just chilling, right? And at this point, it's like almost 10 p.m. And we don't really have a whole lot to do now. We don't really have a plan and we have no phone chargers or anything. And we're just kind of getting bored and like burnt out. But also we're not tired. So we don't really know what to do, right? So we have two choices. We sit in that gym and like spend the rest of the night in there and just kind of keep it low key. Or we go back out into the school and try and find something fun to do. So naturally, all of us being bored teenagers, we're like, all right, let's go back out in the school, in the hallway. Let's go find something to do. So we leave the gym. We start walking down the hallway. Now, at this point, I'm a little bit paranoid because the school is very dark. Also, I didn't know if my school had an alarm system or not that would like go off if it detected movement in the hallways past a certain hour. So like that had me pretty on edge. But after we got out in the hallway, I got an idea. I was like, yo, I just thought of something. And Kevin's like, what is it? And I was like, yo, the theater. And all of my friends' faces all lit up. We had this big theater room in my school where all the kids like that did plays and shows and stuff would, you know, practice and perform and stuff. It was a big theater, probably like a thousand seats, right? And we just completely forgot about it up until this point because we're never really in there. We didn't take theater class or whatever. Like we didn't, you know, act. So we completely forgot about it. And now that we had the chance to go in there, like alone and just like check out all the sets and like put on the costumes and just like troll basically we were so excited so we uh walked over to the theater room we checked to see if it was unlocked luckily it was we went in there and i walked into a site that i did not expect so we opened the theater room right and we see none other than the school janitor mopping the stage and he immediately looked up and saw us standing there and he goes what are you guys doing here? Now, there's two things I'm not good at. Being under pressure and coming up with lies. So in this moment, I couldn't come up with anything. And luckily, Kevin is just the king of getting himself out of situations. And he comes up with the craziest story. He goes, hey, I'm so sorry to scare you. Like, we didn't mean to freak you out. This is Austin. That's Justin. That's Alex. We're here for the senior prank. Did you get the email? And the janitor's like, what? W what email? And Kevin like just doubles down. He's like the staff email, the vice principal. He was supposed to email you, let you know that we were going to be here at the same time as you. I don't know if you got it. You should double check your email. But basically, we're here to decorate the principal's office. We're decorating it all girly and, you know, pranking him. And the janitor was like, really? And Kevin's like, yeah, you really didn't get the email. And I couldn't believe it, dude. Like in my head, I couldn't believe the level of gaslighting I was seeing. Like it was crazy. Now, luckily for us, this was just the janitor we were talking to, not like security or something. So after Kevin told him this story... Even though he seemed like he still kind of didn't believe us, he just chose to believe us. He was like, oh, okay, well, I'll double check my email after this. Uh, why don't you boys just like stay in this area, though, so I can, you know, keep an eye on you guys. And we're like, okay. He goes, all right, so where are you going to be? You said you're going to the principal's office? And we're like, yeah. And he goes, okay. So after this, we turn around, we leave the theater, we go back out in the hallway, the door closes behind us. And at this point, we have two choices. We uh, either go find somewhere else to hide the rest of the night and like try and spend the night in the school hiding from the janitor or we just get the hell out of there and we decided you know what we've had our fun our phones are all dying at this point if we stay any longer who knows what's going to happen let's get the hell out of here so now we had to come up with an escape plan because obviously the doors were all locked and we couldn't just walk out one of the doors well honestly there was probably one set of doors that was unlocked and that was probably the ones the janitor came through but with all of the entrances and exits at my school we did not feel like trying to, you know, open every door and see which one was unlocked. So we decided, you know what? Let's just go into one of the classrooms on the first floor that's unlocked, open the window, and slide out. So that's what we did. We found a classroom on the first floor. It was some science class. We went in there, closed the door, unlocked one of the windows, climbed out into the parking lot, closed it behind us, and we got the hell out of there. Now, luckily, Kevin lived pretty close to the school, so we just started walking towards his house. 
And on the way to his house, I checked my phone and it was 12.07. So officially we spent the night in the school. I mean, it wasn't the entire night, obviously, but technically we made it till the next day. So I held up my phone. I was like, yo guys, look, like we made it. We made it. It's the next day. And they were like, let's go. So after that, we walked to Kevin's house, kind of snuck in there because we didn't want to wake his parents up. And we just hung in Kevin's basement for like three hours, just talking about how crazy that was and how like insane we were for doing it. And to this day and back then, I did not understand how we didn't trigger an alarm. I really thought that my school would have an alarm. It was a pretty big school. And maybe they did. Maybe we just got lucky. Maybe it's not turned on until after the janitor leaves for the night. So like, that's my guess. But the story doesn't end there. Okay. So the next day, it's Saturday now. All right. We all wake up. We're in Kevin's basement. We walked upstairs to get some breakfast. His mom sees all of us. And she's like, when did you boys get here? Did you sleep here last night? And Kevin's like, hey, mom. Yeah, we all came back here because we were all at Justin's and we got kind of tired of being there. We wanted to come here and play video games. So we kind of snuck over while you guys were asleep. She goes, oh, okay, like, just text me next time so I don't, like, wake up and freak out. Like, if I would have woke up last night, I would have thought someone was breaking in. And he's like, all right, Mom, I will. So that was good. You know, she wasn't very suspicious, which was nice. But, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that wasn't the end of it. So we all sit down at the table, right? And uh, we're just eating breakfast. I had a Pop-Tart. Kevin had some, like, waffles he toasted. Everyone was just eating different things from the fridge and the freezer and the pantry, right? And uh, we're just sitting there. And the home phone starts ringing. And uh, Kevin's mom answers it. And I hear her go, hey, Principal Blank. And uh, obviously that's not their real name, but it was my principal that was calling, right? And all of my friends and me just looked at each other with the biggest like, oh shit, look. And then I hear Kevin's mom go, they did what? And at that moment, I knew that me and all of my friends were 110% done. Like we were about to get a whole new level of punished. So she's on the phone for like two minutes, just apologizing for her son and all of our actions, right? And uh, she hangs up after like a few minutes and she turns around and she looks at all of us and she just goes, you guys are fucking done. Keep in mind, I have never heard Kevin's mom swear a day in my life until this moment. She was furious and she goes, the school is calling all of your parents. You all need to leave my house right now and go home and speak with your parents because you guys are all in a world of shit. And uh, yeah, we listened. We all got up. Kevin stayed at the table because he lived there and he had to uh, face the wrath of his mom. And uh, we left the house. And I had to call my mom up on like 2% phone battery because I forgot to charge my phone. And on my last 2%, I call her. And this was before she knew, by the way, about what happened. And she answered. She's like, hello. And I was like, hey, can you come pick me up from this Burger King? She's like, what are you doing there? I was like, oh, we walked there together and everyone's leaving. So I want to get picked up here. And she goes, okay. So she pulls up to the Burger King I was at that was like right down the street from Kevin's. I get in the car and on the way home from the Burger King, the school called my mom's cell phone. And since my mom was driving, she put it on speaker. So I was able to hear the call go down. And yeah, this was not fun. So it was the principal. She answers. She goes, hello. And my principal's like, hi, uh, this is, you know, principal blank. Just calling to let you know that uh, last night we received a call from the janitor saying that there were students in the building after 11 p.m. They told him some story that they were here to do a senior prank. And when he went back out in the hallway after sweeping the theater, they were gone. And he couldn't find them. And that's when we got the call. And yeah, we had to call the police down and we checked the cameras. And sure enough, we see your son. We see Kevin Blank. We see Alex Blank, Justin Blank. They're all in there. They're exploring. Now, like, we're not going to get them in trouble with the law. But, like, obviously we have to implement some sort of consequence here. And this whole time, my mom is just speechless. And she's like, uh, yeah, of course, whatever you got to do. And the principal's like, I think we should bring them in, you know, talk to the police, obviously, and then maybe impose a suspension for about a week, if that sounds fair to you. And my mom's like, yeah, that's more than fair. And the principal goes, okay, when can you come in? And she was like, whenever. And the principal's like, okay, how about Monday at about 930? And she's like, okay, sounds good. So yeah, Monday at 9.30 a.m., we had to go into the school, talk to the school cop, get a one-week suspension, which is honestly insane. They could have done so much worse. And the cherry on top for all of this is they uh, took all of us out of each other's classes. So any classes we had together with each other, um, like if I had a class with Alex or Justin or, you know, Kevin, they just took me out of all those. We couldn't see each other in school besides lunchtime. So that kind of sucked. And yeah, your boy got in some trouble. I got grounded at home for like two months. So that wasn't very fun. And that was pretty much my whole summer. So that really sucked. 
I only really had August ungrounded and that was pretty much the end of summer. So yeah, but honestly, looking back, I got a pretty tame punishment in my opinion. Like some people would get expelled for this uh, or arrested even like we got pretty lucky, me and all my friends. So obviously goes without saying, but never do this ever. And that's the moral of the story. Don't be like dumbass me back in uh, 2014. But yeah, guys, that is the story of how I spent the night in my school and uh, got caught, unfortunately. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys all later. Peace. I'm in a bad mood, I can see it's